And new at 10, it's scenes coming out of a movie as the Venezuelan gang Tren de Aragua are seen breaking into apartment complexes in Aurora, Colorado. This is according to our sister station in Denver. There you can see the group well armed and forcing an apartment door open and making their way in. This has raised concerns amongst residents and Colorado state law enforcement officials. The city of Aurora is issuing a statement today in the wake of national attention following the video's release. As we've reported in the past, Tren de Aragua is one of the fastest growing transnational criminal organizations from Venezuela. According to FBI officials, the gang has now infiltrated its way into the United States through various sectors of the U.S.-Mexico border. This be a lesson to the gang members in Aurora, Colorado. Please heed my warning. I've had 10 years in the joint in the state of Kentucky. I'm telling you right now, the people that are coming known as the Hells Angels are not to be fucked with. You are getting ready to have a large swarm of men who are like-minded, brotherhood-driven, and will not govern themselves by the laws in which that you think that they will. You are getting ready to have us that you have never experienced in your life. And people that live on a certain side of the law may be perceived as whatever. But I promise you this, we know that you're taking advantage of defenseless people. You will be the ones calling the law. Because you do not want men like me and the people that we associate with to descend upon you. Because we will not care about evidence, we will not care about any of that shit. There will be guns, there will be knives, and there will be no more time for questions. Please leave before you force the hand of a power that you do not know the extent of how far it reaches. If you try to meet them with any type of resistance, you will die. You will die in the street. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. That is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is Bahashim, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation. To the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans here in the Western Hemisphere, and to the rest scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth who look like the other nations, but through the patrilineal lineage, go back to the Hebrew Israelites. All right. And the two clips that you see put together is in spite of the recent news of the so-called, you know, gangs in Aurora, Colorado, you know, supposedly or allegedly breaking into people houses and what taking whatever it is. Okay. As the lady said in the first uh, clip, the gang heavily armed breaking into houses and there you see nothing of that matter okay the first <clears throat> the first part of that clip was yeah a few men walking up the stairs one of them seemed to have a a uh rifle of some sort and they didn't break into the house the door was already unlocked and then the second part of that clip you know what did one have like a, a bat or some type of stick you know he wasn't heavily armed and we don't know for, you know, if that person got locked out or what, but the narrative is being pushed, you know, so that they can bring forth this next agenda. All right. And then in the second video, you seen a member of the uh, organization Hell's Angel give them a, uh, a dire warning saying you don't want to mess with them. OK, allowing them to <clears throat> be justified in bringing their organization or chapter up to that location okay so it looks like things could be sparking off to spark and start a race war okay or a race riot <clears throat> all before the election all right now this is second corinthians 2 and 11 and it reads lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices right so I don't put it past the devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, to be backing this whole movement, this whole, you know, 
little thing that's going on up there, all right? Just to get things to spark off, okay? Because you never know, man. Both of these, you know, quote-unquote organizations or gangs could be funded by Esau Edom, man, for such for just such an occasion, all right? To get race uh, to get race riots sparked off, all right, in certain areas, okay? Because look at Colorado, man. You know, for the most part, it's inhabited by you know so-called Caucasians. You know, Colorado, uh, Utah, places like that. You know, and those Edomites are already on edge, man. You see, those Edomites are already on edge because they feel like that's one of the last strongholds that they got. You know that. Jake ain't really, you know, prevalent, all right? Now, in the midst of these uh, quote-unquote gangs from uh, Venezuela, now you got uh, individuals terrorizing apartments, man, you see? So, hey, everything is being put into place, man. Race wars, riots, you know, pestilence, the sword, everything, man. Everything is coming together beautifully for the word man you see america is gonna be complete chaos man they could be systematically breaking this place down catering to each city town and state a different crisis man you know a poly crisis many crisis <laughs> you know this man is wicked you know he's good at what he's he's good at what he does man so you can't put anything past him all right you must be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. If you get yourself caught up in any of that stuff, find yourself out there protesting, marching, or any of that, and you believe any of that stuff that you hear it on the news, you already gone, man. You see? So this is nothing but, you know, a government psyop, man. You know, something that's, you know, planned to stoke a reaction, all right? Something like a crowd, like, let's say, let's say there's a crowd of 10,000 people and the tension is rise and the tension has risen. All it takes is one person to do something to stoke that whole riot. Okay. Such as one side, throw a bottle and it hit somebody on the other side, then all hell breaks loose. All right. So now the tension in the U S is what? They claiming this migrant border crisis. They don't let so many migrants in that what? The migrants are taking over the cities. Now they to a point where they breaking into people's homes and houses. It's not good that the government is funding them and giving them houses to stay at and money to spend and giving them first time home owners. But now they are becoming a terror. You know, they're uh, bringing, you know, uh, they're terrorizing the neighborhood the neighborhoods, okay? It's so much that you have a member of the Hells Angels Biker Club that's sending them a dire message telling them to get the hell out, man. Are they going to pull up? You see? This could all be planned by Esau Edom, man, to, you know, get tension uh, stirred up between Jake and Esau, man. Because for the longest, hey, Jake and Esau has had a perpetuate hatred for each other. You know, Esau has hated Jake. Jake, Esau since the womb, man. We tied together like that, okay? You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you will represent Jake. The Northern Kingdom, Ephraim, and the Southern Kingdom, Judah. And who is the Edomites? Idumium, okay? So they can all just be stroking. Esau, Edom can all be putting stuff into place to, you know, cause some type of riot to occur, all right? You know, Jacob's trouble is going to be race wars, man. You, so, you see, so the tension is building, okay? The tension is building. He let these, you know, quote-unquote illegal immigrants come into, the, uh, come into the land. Now you got your, your red-blooded your, your red -blooded Americans who had it up to here with them, you know? Now they're gonna be back in the biker, uh, the biker clubs. <laughs> now they're gonna be welcoming in, you know, the Hell's Angels, okay? Which, if you've seen the movie Purge, man, I forgot which Purge it is, but you know, hey, what happened? In order to get the people to actually start to, you know, often one another, they hired 
uh, private mercenaries, you know, that would come and stoke and invoke, you know, certain things that they wanted. Okay. So this is all being part. This is all according to the plan of the most high, but he's just using Esau Edom to get things going, man. You see, because why they getting ready to pull the plug on this place, man. Every, every place, every city, every town here in America is going to have something specifically catered to them. Okay. Everything, man. There's not going to be no way you can hide. You're going to go to the mountains, but hey, you're going to have people up there in the mountains. Okay. If you not, hey, if you not covered under the hedge of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, there's no way you can hide, man. Nowhere. Like that song says, nowhere to hide, baby, nowhere to run, something like that. You can't run, you can't hide, man, you see? So Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai is putting all this into play, man, you know? And if it be and if it be the Lord's will, this is it, man. You know, let it get started. <laughs> let the, like they say, uh, let the fun begin, man. <laughs> Let's get it on. Hey, we ready to get the hell up out of here, man. Whatever it takes. You know, if you Jakes ain't got it and you ain't with it and you have to go out there, you know, get part of the, the sacrifice and fight for what you think you believe. Hey, the hell with it because you don't know, man. Hey, you may have you may have some other gangs, you know, of the Southern Kingdom pull up and get involved, too, man. You see? And it tells us that, you know, Ephraim and Judah, you know, Ephraim being the bow and Judas the bow, man. You see? So, hey, this thing could really start, man. Let's go there. This thing could really get started, you know? A race a race war, a race riot, all right? This is uh, Zechariah, excuse me, 13. It's like in Zechariah chapter 9 and 13. It says, when I have bent Judah for me, fill the bow with Ephraim and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. Who is Greece? Idumium, the so-called Edomites, man. And made thee as the sword of a mighty man. So Jake going to get busy, man. <laughs> you see, Jake finna get busy out here, man. What Esau Edom is looking to achieve is going to backfire on him. You know, hey, this going, hey, even though Jake is wicked as hell, man, you you may be surprised, man. You know, they may have a common enemy or you know a common uh, goal at hand, man. You know, they may just want to start getting busy, man. And Jake and Ephraim, hey. Because we already know the mighty man on the right hand side of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the 144,000 man. Hey, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, if he, whoever he gives that standard to, to be raised up in that time to come up against these Edomites, man, we gonna get busy, you know? So, how much more these Jakes in the flesh, man, that's after the flesh, that rely on their uh, firearms, man? You know, they looking to get busy too. Okay, because who's to say Hell's Angel why they out there won't make a stop in one of these heavily infested neighborhoods with black gangs, so-called black gangs that's overtaking, you know, quiet, up, law-abiding citizens that happen to be so-called white people, man. You see, what's to say that won't happen, all right? The next thing you know, hey, man, that race war is on, okay? That race war is on. All right, because like I said, you know, Colorado for the most part, you know, hey, it's mostly comprised of so-called white people, man. Places like Colorado, Utah, Kentucky, you know, hey, <laughs> they may be all welcoming spots for, you know, such organizations like the Hells Angels. OK, going there for refuge, man. Hey, if you want protection and you are of, you know, the European or the Caucasian race, come to these towns, man. You see, they may start to be strongholds for those that's looking for refuge from you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. These are the strongholds, man. Areas such as Colorado, Utah, 
you know, in, in Kentucky, all right? Heavily guarded and protected by these uh, biker organizations, you know, posing as mercenaries. So you got to be on point, all right? You know, it, it says a man shall desire to go into a city and will not be able to, okay? Hey, it's going to be some real stuff going down out here, man. I believe that's in the book of Second Errors, the 15th chapter, all right? Right around verse 15 or so, okay? So things going to start to pick up, man, as we get closer and closer to the end, all right? Hey, let's go there. Ezekiel 7 and 15. It says what? Ezekiel 7 and 15. The sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword. Yeah, out there in those rural, those country, uh, uh, country states like Colorado, you got nothing but mountains and Utah mountains and stuff like that. Hey, man, those could potentially be strongholds and, you know, areas of refuge for the modern day, you know, so-called white man from you jakes that's coming and terrorizing his neighborhoods with your gangs, your old blocks, your Venezuelan, uh, Trident, whatever. You know, Esau got to have a place where he can go to get away from you jakes, man. Y'all coming, taking over his neighborhoods, you know. This is the narrative that the news is uh pushing, okay. The migrant borders, the illegal immigrants coming from Venezuela, coming and terrorizing neighborhoods, you know. All the while, the police that out there saying that it ain't matching the reports that's going on in the news. So we don't know what's going on. But we know for sure we're not ignorant of Satan devices, lest he should get an advantage of us, okay? He wants some kind of, you know, response, okay? He, he's looking for something. He's that antagonizer in a crowd of 10,000 that's going to throw a bottle and get things, get things popping, all right? Excuse me. So it says the sword is without. In the pestilence and famine within, he that is in the field shall die with the sword. Right. And what else? And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. Right. These cities going to be over overpopulated. You know, famine and pestilence is going to be a key component to uh, controlling the city. Okay. If you want food, take the mark. If you want relief or, you know, some type of uh, comfort for the pestilence that's out, come get the mark. OK. Meanwhile, up in the mountains, the field, you know, you got hey, you got these mercenaries, <laughs> you know, you're not coming in. OK, you're not coming in because why? They don't set up shop for these places to be safe havens from you jakes, man. You understand? So, hey. Race wars and race riots are getting ready to happen, man. The place you know as America is no longer going to be that place that you know, man. You know, and pending on the election, this could very much well be the last election. Just like in the day's lesson, I said this could very much well be the last Labor Day if it be the Lord's will, you know. So you potentially witnessing and taking part of America's downfall, man, before the thermonuclear missiles come. Because they have to bring chaos in order to bring forth that solution. That mark of the beast spoken of in Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 16th verse on down to 18. OK, so we just got to see how things play out, man. You know, but hey, you've seen the video of a member of, you know, the Hell's Angels organization giving them uh, so-called illegal migrants a dire warning, man. Pack your stuff up and leave. You don't want us to pull down, pull up, okay? Because they got the manpower, all right? Whether they backed or not, you know? You know, and I'm pretty sure they got other chapters out there and other gang and other organizations as well, okay? So, hey, it's going to be something catered for everyone, man. man. Hey, because trust and believe, man. Once all hell breaks loose, man, these Edomites are going to want to go and have some way to and have somewhere to go to get away from you, Jakes, man. All right, they trying to move to these uh 
Republican states, these red states like Texas and Florida, man. But those states ain't going to be safe either, man. You see, government ain't going to be able to, you know, uh, protect these certain Americans, man. Although they gave although they given them the right to bear arms, man. These illegals, they coming in. You don't think they got firearms? Come on, man. This shit finna be wild out here. <laughs> you see? While you bull jiving talking about throw some meat on the grill for Labor Day, hey, man, shit finna get real, man. You know? It's finna get real out here, all right? And if you ain't on the right side, you finna get you finna get visited by Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai, man. Judgment, all right? It's too much stuff going on for you not to be, you know, on top of your game, all right? You too uh, worry about is LeBron going to play with Bronny and is Bronny going to call LeBron dad <laughs> during the L.A. game, man? They finna have riots out there. You finna take your simple ass to a damn Lakers game and not knowing what's going on, man. Just, just all for the enjoyment of watching a basketball game. You finna have to make, uh, you finna have to make business decisions. Do you want to go out to a basketball game? Because all these things they got in the city, man. Everything goes on and goes down in the city. Okay, this where this where most of the chaos is going to ensue in these cities. All right, so you're gonna have to make you're gonna have to make business decisions. You know, do I go out to a game with my lady, take my children to a theme park, you know, so on and so forth. <laughs> hey, man, it's going to be real, especially for you, you females, man. Y'all going to be some prime, some prime suspects, man. For for groups and organizations to follow you home. I mean, they already go, they already painting the narrative already, man. You know, what makes you think something won't happen and come to your city or town? What makes you think that you're safe, all right? Famine and pestilence in the cities, in the sword and the field, man. You understand? So there's no way you can run. There's no way you can hide, baby. You know? So, hey, get ready, man. <laughs> get ready, all right? We in the last quarter of this year, man, going into an election year. Anything and everything is on the table, you know? So if you ain't ready, man, it's going to show in that time, all right? That's why you got to get your faith, build up your faith right now, you know? Hey, show the most high that you are thankful for him waking you up, man. You see? That's why we tell our people to repent. Repent, okay? And ask the Lord for forgiveness. Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai for forgiveness, man. Because the times are coming, you know, close, man. The days are getting close. To the day of the Lord, all right? Well, hey, hey, <laughs> when the lights go out, whatever attack it is that they put to bring forth the system, to take the system down, the grid down, or whatever, man, it's going to be on the popping, man. You know, and you're going to have these mercenaries in, in certain areas, okay? And if you, a, hey, if you ain't got the right credentials, you ain't coming in, point blank, man. Whether that's where the food is at, you know, whether that's wherever, where, where, whether that's wherever the resource at, you not coming in, man. They're going to have these, these towns and cities on lockdowns, okay? You done drove all the way. You seen the movie Civil Unrest? When the dude asks, what type of American are you? <laughs> okay? They don't put these type of, you know, uh, tad bits into these movies for no reason, man. No, they give you an insight on what to look for. You know, I went and saw that movie Afraid today about, you know, artificial intelligence, basically, you know, an upgrade of Alexia and Siri, you know, on steroids, okay? They could give you suggestions. It could tell you how to, you know, better yourself. It could make improvements to your life to the point where you feel like it's part of your, your, your family, okay? You fight the resistance in the beginning, but it proves itself to be well worth the waiting gold. And now you're becoming one with machine, transhumanism, okay? And at the end, I don't want to spoil it, you know, so if you haven't seen the movie Afraid, then, you know, don't listen to what I'm about to tell you, but the family caves into the request or demand of the AI, you know? And they become one with the AI, all right? 
hey, ain't nothing safe out here. So if you're not truly worshiping, serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, it's going to show in that day. Okay? You will not have that hedge of protection to, uh, to guide you. All right? You're going to go and take whatever it is that Esau Edom has provided for you. All right? Out of out of necessity, out of necessity, out of necessity. Okay. So let's close out. Not gonna make it too long with First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. It reads, Be sober, be vigilant. You see, if you don't understand what's going on and you believe the narratives that the news media is, you know, posting and telling you. You're going to be simple as the day old, man, <laughs> and get your, you know what, taken out, all right? You can't be out here making frantic decisions based on what the news tells you, all right? You got to have faith, all right? And if you don't know what's going on, you're not sober, then you have no idea or direction which way to go. You're going to be out there when you should be, you know, ducked off somewhere, <laughs> Far away from all the action and distractions, man. Trying to go out there to go to Roof Chris or your favorite steakhouse. Meanwhile, you got individuals out there that's following you home. Okay. And you know you women, you ain't you you not circumspect as at all, man. You not watching, you not watching your shoulders looking out, seeing who's following you, seeing who's watching you. You know, that's why you ain't you supposed to have a man, okay? For such an occasion, all right? But you're going to be out on your own, okay? And it tells us in, in Ephesians uh, 5 and 15, see that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, okay? Redeeming the times because the days are evil, okay? We're going to come into some very tumultuous times, man, where what you, where what you do or what you decide to do can pretty much... You know, determine whether you make it back or not. I need to go out, get something to eat. Meanwhile, somebody been following you and trailing you for a couple of days. I'm too scared to go out. I'm going to call in Uber or something like that. Meanwhile, you posting all type of provocative pictures on Instagram and you just don't know that Uber driver that followed you on Instagram got your drop, your location. They calling they people up. They finna come over, you know, and run the train, take you, your children, and whoever else, man. You see? Shit finna get real out here. While you playing, you know, wasting your time of repentance, you finna have to pay once the lights go out. You ain't gonna know what to do, okay? You not gonna know what to do, man. Imagine complete darkness. Not being able to see your head in front of your face, man. No lights in your house. You got to stay complete quiet. <laughs> There's no rest in the day or night, man. It's going to be an eerie feeling. An eerie feeling. Not having no type of protection or guidance. The lights go off. You and your little ones got to huddle up somewhere safe and, and pray somebody don't come prying and knocking on your window and door. To see if they get a response. To see who's home. Before they come in. You know. Because why? They done uh, cased out the joint for a couple of days now. Seeing who coming in and who and who going. You know. It's going to be real out there. Okay. So First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Okay. If you are too tied up with this world you cannot be sober or vigilant you got too much invested in this world you want to see this world go on this man that gave you labor day after labor day uh fourth of july after fourth of july halloween after halloween christmas thanksgiving after thanksgiving after christmas you got too much to look forward to to be sober and be vigilant thinking that this is just going to continue to go on you're going to see another holiday after another holiday, after another holiday. All the while, he getting ready to pull the plug on this place. And now you're going to be left in the dark. 
right where you wanted it at <laughs> for that Halloween uh, scare tactic. Ghosts and ghouls showing up at your door, man. You know, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a trick or treat, all right, man. They come, in, they ain't coming to knock on your door for candy either, man. Well, you can say candy. <laughs> you see, <laughs> hey, man, hey, it ain't gonna be pretty, man. You know, that's why we telling our people to get yourself right. You know, get your houses in order, get your affairs in order, because hey. Yeah, how about the sin has only begotten uh his only begotten son Yahweh shot back down here, man? And leading up into that, things are gonna be completely chaotic, all by design, man. All right, so let's read it one more time and let's get out of here. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant. Why? Because your adversary, the devil, as a ruined lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. All right, that's just what it is, man. You know. He's looking for the simple and the easy prey, man. You know, no resistance. Going to come willingly to get that mark, all right? Because why? They don't want to live out there. They don't want to live out there in that type of that type of environment, man, where you got to be on constant watch, where you on edge everywhere you go, man. There ain't going to be no peace, no safety. You understand? They're not going to understand what's going on. They're going, to be, they're going to be found with their uh, garments off and naked and shame, man. You see, they don't know what's coming. They don't know what's getting ready to come, man. You know, they don't have any idea. All right. Lest thou be found naked, man. A lot of people are going to be found naked. You know, when Yahweh shall pull up, man, a lot of Jake's going to be found naked without any garment on. All right. That's going to be a that's going to be the bad. That's going to be a bad spot to be in. All right. So be sober. Be vigilant. Keep your garments on, man. You don't want to be out here butt naked, man. <laughs> butt naked walking around here naked in the dark, man. Damn. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. And a, and a, and a lion can see in the dark, man. A lion has better sight in the dark all right then most of his prey does okay so with that being said i pray some moments edified through this lesson and until the next time if it be the lord's will stay strong stay in the faith we are almost home shalom peace